sand the paper down, apply a coat of beeswax, rub it into the paper with razor blades. And then on the parts where I'm going to draw black, I start drawing with a graphite stick. I do a lot of drawing from notebook sketches to larger notebook drawings that are done from nature and also worked on in the studio. They'll develop an idea and it's worked up to a series of drawings. And yet at the same time, I tend to think of them more now as paintings because technically they are paintings. The graphite being worked into the wax makes a paint. So these are just like small panel paintings. Because each one is a panel, each one has a space. It comes together to make a whole space. The grid has always been just a way of measuring space and showing different things that could be happening in that space on the plane simultaneously. These could be considered details of the grid, just as in a way a one color painting could be considered a detail of a Pollock line in space. When I see space as an infinity with lots of changes, permutations, shifts, plays happening in it, and lots of tension. The drawing comes out of, technically comes out of a sort of melding of, of materials. The paper is an integral part of the drawing. The wax is an integral part of it. Everything's a real part of the drawing. It becomes very real. That refers back to the objectness, or there being like shields. Instead of putting frames on them, you can put little handles on the back. Walk around with your art shield. <laughs>